Okay. There's a page in there. Oh. And a slow and fills her with dread. This time, she does as she's told. It's not enough to save her. So maybe tell her something different next time. If it happens again. Wake's friends. Alice and Barry, my wife and my best friend, are easily the two most important people in my life. And they've never really gotten along with each other. I suppose both of them resent the other's intrusions into what they consider their domain. After I was gone, they maintained an uneasy truce. My book stayed in print, still selling, the licensing machine <laughs> controlled the intellectual property. He was my agent and took care of the business. I wish they found more common ground than that. Okay. So, into another page room then. Anything here? No, this is the one to progress. There's a page. There's another one. The Twisted Mirror. Already uh, read it. Uh, so, in, not in here. Nothing here. How do I enter that place? Um, uh, oh, the TV. What will you say this time, Mr. Static? Okay. So this chick just came up to me and said she's my biggest fan. I know. They all say that, right? And she's giving me the eye. So I make a couple of moves, we have a couple of drinks, and then things start happening. But I say I have to go to the bathroom first. Uh-oh, right? She's got no idea. Watch this. This is gonna be priceless. Okay. <laughs> He's dancing forward. Turn on the chair so I can see her properly. Turn it around. I want to see properly. If you're going to make a snuff film, you should show the results. But apparently, he did not do that. Oh, here's the page. Night Springs, the cult TV show. Night Springs doesn't exist. It's a fictional town from the TV show I used to work on. It was any place USA, a place we used as a backdrop for whatever strange story we had that week. One of the stories I wrote for the show involved a man, the champion of light, fighting his evil double, the Herald of Darkness. It was something I'd written back in the real world, something I had a link to, 
a framework I could build on. I had adapted it into a new story. This story. So now he is the champion of light, and uh, Mr. Scratch's statement is uh, the herald of darkness. Um, so which one was the progress room again? Uh, this one, I think. Nope, I was wrong. Not too unexpected. Wrong. The correct one. It's said that nobody knows what the future might bring, but for this man, it's no longer entirely true. A weaker man might simply give up, but the Champion of Light is an expert on destiny. Sometimes the puppet and puppeteer can be one and the same. So can I just get the camera and turn on the cool antenna? Littered with man-made eyes that stare into the endless depths of space. Tonight, the champion of light will depend on them to pick out a message from the ether. So let's turn on the coolant system. As history repeats itself, the man remembers the patterns. He knows that he needs the missing part for the telescope. And the coolant system. That's where the camera should be. Hmm. And here's a radio. Oh, praise be! You guys are coming through for me. A pretty little light just started blinking on my board here, and that means there's a caller out there. Hey. Okay. Hello. Uh, this way. Oh, there are more pages. One here. Oh, I didn't read this. As a storyteller, my first real love was crime. And it was in that genre that I finished my first <laughs> Alex Casey, whose entire life was a wound that never healed. The books sold as fast as they hit the shelves. I wrote five more Alex Casey books, and they all were bestsellers. I became rich. I became famous. Success brought pressure, and I didn't handle it very well. Okay, a new reality. Fragment one. The atmosphere in the projection booth at the drive-in was charged almost unreal. Despite that, the air felt cool and refreshing this late at night. It had been a hot day. The summer was nearing its end, but it wasn't over yet. Okay. And there's the last page in here somewhere. Uh. It's behind this. Yep. Dr. Meadows. Dr. Rachel Meadows got the call from Michael, telling her to hurry to the observatory. She didn't waste any time. It had been a nice party. She'd had a good time, but her social life would always play second fiddle to the mysteries of space. Michael never showed up, of course. He pulled over at the wrong rest stop. She never even thought about him at the time. The phenomenon in the sky above her was too fascinating. 
Oh. So her co worker ended up uh, getting lost. Or killed. Hey, Templeweed. Yay. Temple a little for me. You're not tumbling enough. You're not interesting anymore. Hmm. Hi there. Can I turn on the coolant system thing here? There's a page. Fighting the Taken. I carried a flashlight and a gun for so long. Okay, that's the same as I read once before. Um, wasn't there supposed to be a vault there? Hmm. Is it back here, maybe? Nope. There's a page. Lost in the After dark place. Parents, they thought I was dead. I might as well have been. I know it's been two years. I know Alice has moved on. I've tried to find a way back to her. Okay, to that's the one I read earlier. Or made him read. Turn those into normal flashbangs? No? Why did one of them turn into a normal one? The Taken. Oh, I read Taken this one. may well be the tool the darkness favors over any other. At some point, they used to be human, but whatever humanity they once had is long gone. Now they're just shells covered and filled by darkness. The Taken Mr. throws at me are more grotesque and varied than the ones I first encountered in Bright Falls. But I know how to deal with them. I'd be lying if I said they don't frighten me. But I've survived worse. I can't let them stop me. Okay. Down here, apparently. I don't think it was that earlier. Ah. Ah. And you. Hmm. What is this? Hunting rifle. Okay, I had enough, but I don't want it. I have a crossbow. The genesis of Mr. Static. I've seen the enemy, and it's me. I faced dark horrors before. The unimaginable pressures of the world beyond our own. Sometimes they masquerade as humans. That's what ultimately lurks inside Mr. Static. Is every mean-spirited tabloid story about me. An evil caricature. A creature formed in that vague territory of misconceptions, half-truths, and the dark imagination of people who heard a story about me. An urban legend made flesh. A serial killer. My dark half. Brought to life by the power of Cauldron Lake. Yay. I cannot go there. Did I see some? Okay, that was the rifle. Okay, this is where the car is. Nice little page here. The darkness. The darkness rose from the depths of Cauldron Lake and took Alice. It needed words. It needed me. She was leveraged. 